This is Pokemon Black Permadeath, my first time playing Pokemon, and I'm going in completely blind. I'm only allowed one of each Pokemon type, and if their health drops to zero, I can never use them again. Let's see how that goes for me. Route 3 is the route to take us to the next city, and like any good route, it's full of Pokemon trainers. For example, these two twins, which... You know, I'm, 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 just, I'm gonna stop pointing it out. Something cool and fun about this battle, though, is it's actually a 2v2. Uh, I'm using Eva and Chupapup against the two purple cats simultaneously. And I kind of hope for more battles like this, because this was really fun. This was... I liked that. It could be interesting if later in the game there was like a 4v4 type battle as well. I don't, I'm just spitballing. Wow, you kids were kind of loaded. What are you doing out on a city route anyway? We're staying at the nursery. The lunches are very expensive. Oh, that's a nursery up there, huh? Wait, did I just take your lunch money? Yes, we were trying to double it and instead we lost it all. Hubris. Well, winning's the worst thing that can happen to a first-time gambler. Call us a lesson. So, a nursery full of lunch money, huh? Hmm. Trina, I wanna play with you! Get one shot, kid! And if I win, you have to give them all their lunch money back. That dog is not normal. Trust me, kid. It's better to lose your money once at the start than to lose it forever after. I didn't even know we were doing it for money. It's the rules. Whee! Uh, that was a pretty successful shakedown. Aiden, stop! I'm sorry, I need the money! Wait, what? I just wanted to battle you. Oh. We can... Alright. You keep talking about needing money, man. Is everything alright? It's... Uh, yeah, it's fine. You know, you seem to want to battle me every single time we meet. Like, Bianca hasn't battled me in ages. What's the deal? Well, you keep winning. I want to be the best Pokemon trainer in the world, remember? That means I can't let anyone beat me. Well, if you don't want to be beaten, you should probably stop picking battles with me. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right, tough guy. Let's see what your Pokemon. Let's see what your money. Let's see, see where, let's see where that mouth is. Once again, I am distraught to inform you that we have to have Snivy on our screens. It's a higher level than Chupapup, but Bite is still a hard hitter, and it's just lowering my defense, raising its attack, you know, wasting turns, while Chupapup is just Bite, Bite, Bite. It looks like it's coming to the dinner party after all. Oh man, big hit. Maybe a lower defense being hit by a higher level Pokemon that just raised its attack is actually a bad move. Snivy gets off one last self-important leer through the fire as Charity burns it. Meanwhile, uh, you want to guess what his second Pokemon is? <laughs> $1,200 plus all that lunch money. All right, I'm making progress. I don't understand how you keep beating me. I know everything there is to know about Pokemon. Maybe it's a case of box smarts versus street smarts. Bok? Were you, were you just trying to say book? Book is pronounced book. See? Box smarts. Now if only I had an opportunity to show off my street smarts. Sharon, look out! The street! Okay, I see what you're getting at. Maybe we do just have different skill sets. Why do you think those charity workers were in such a hurry? I sure hope it had nothing to do with hallucinogenics. Oh look, it's Bianca. Yeah. Hey, guys! Did you see which way they went? Yeah, straight line along the path, unobscured from the direction you came from. Hope this helps. Ah, uh, damn. I'm puffed. Why are you after them anyway? They stole this little girl's lunch money, Aiden. God damn it. They must be collecting cash for something big if they'd resort to such a down-low tactic. Most of my friends' lunch money's all gone too. I know, it's just awful. Uh, probably also Team Plasma, taking from all of them, stealing. But Team Plasma is a Pokemon charity. Yeah, I know, it's the worst. And I'm starting to think they even have secret under-the-table dealings with the public hospitals and Pokemon centers too. Well, that's, that's actually both fine. But don't worry, little girl. I'm gonna go get your lunch money back. And all your classmates is too. Yeah, good luck. Well, I think he's got that handled. Oh, no you don't, mister. Bianca. Sharon's gonna get super beat up without your help, dude. Just go, just go, but be a friend. Yeah, 
to yell. All right. Come on, Aiden. They ran into this cave. Sharon, listen, just hang on a second. Man. Stop right there. She didn't see you, did she? Who? That girl that was chasing us, did she see you? She's crazy, man, crazy. All right, first of all, that's my friend you're talking about, so watch it. And second of all, she's only after you because she you're thinks you- are friends with her? Yes. I- You know what, let's, let's just get to the battle already. I can feel it coming. There it is. Surprisingly, things sort of don't go well to start. The first Pokemon is a pet rat that Eva fights, and it uses Bide, meaning that my first big tackle damage is going to be doubled back onto me, which is not good. I can't switch because my other Pokemon have even less health than Eva, so I use my one and only X Defend item to boost Eva's defense. And she barely survives, then kills the Pat Rat with another tackle. But that was a weird close call that, I, like, that shouldn't have happened, right? That doesn't make sense. Now, listen to me. The only reason my friend's after you is because she thinks you guys took all the lunch money from the nursery. So give it all it, back. Right now. Sh Sharon. Uh, I may as well tell you this now. I, I was... I was actually the one who... Prepare for trouble and make it quadruple. Guys, I'm really trying to own up to one of my all-time low points here. Would you just listen for a second? Aiden, let's get these guys. Between my book smarts and your street smarts, we'll be unstoppable. No, hey, you can't just start the... All right, we're doing this. And this is quite interesting because this is another double battle, but this time it's me and Sharon versus them two, meaning I don't have control over my teammate. Eva is still a bit low from last time, so I switch out to Chupapup. And Sharon is an idiot, by the way. It vine whips the Pat Rat a second time after it used Bide, which means it's either about to smash Snivy into little bits or Chupapup. Because it's about to do the equivalent of four vine whips onto one of us. I don't know if it automatically targets the person who did the damage or if it just picks a target. But either way, I'm mad at this guy. What was he thinking? Thank God it killed Snivy and we didn't lose Chupapup, but bad news, now I'm battling alongside his purple cat, which I mean, just what I've always dreamed of. Okay, Aiden, leave this to me. No, 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 it's biting, Sharon, please, no. We don't attack biting Pokemon we can't kill. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Oh my God, Chupapup, I'm so sorry, dude. Now, hand over the lunch money. Uh, Sharon, listen. Fine, just take it. What, you took her lunch money for real? Did you even battle for it? We didn't. We're sorry. Our organization's not for profit. We just get so hungry. Not for profit charity workers still get paid. Volunteers don't. Are you volunteers? All right, fine. We get paid. Team Plasma's publicly audited anyway. It was a verifiable lie. What? This can't be all of it. She said most of the nursery had lost its lunch money. Oh, uh, it's okay, Sharon. I actually already took the rest off this other guy. You must have just been blinking at the time. That should be all of it now. We can give it back to them. There's just one thing I don't understand. Why were you guys taking their lunch money in the first place? The boss needs a lot of cash for his next project. We tried to take a shortcut, hubris. Please let us go before your other friend finds us. Yeah, get out of here. Sharon, I love you, buddy, but seriously, man, what were you even studying? Pokemon biology? It can't have been battles, right? No, I was studying battles. Pokemon battles or like medieval charges? I'm sorry for not being a good teammate. The nerves just get to me and I forget everything I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you were a great teammate. We won! Why do you put so much pressure on yourself? Can't you just be like the 104th best Pokemon trainer in the world? Nobody takes the 104th best Pokemon trainer in the world seriously, Aiden. And apart from you and Bianca, nobody takes me seriously. You guys are like my only friends. Everyone makes fun of me. Well, look, Sharon, you can learn street smarts in a couple of weeks, but box smarts? That takes years! You've already done the hard part! Aiden, it's pronounced book. This is literally a skill issue. It doesn't even have to do with reading. It has to do with talking to people. I know you've heard me say book before. Who says bok? Who says bok to you? Do you have a chicken coop? I just don't see what books have to do with box smarts. Who's been saying box smarts to you? Where have you heard that? The point is, Sharon, you can pick up street smarts no problem. And then you really will be the best Pokemon trainer in the world. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Thanks, Aiden. I'm gonna go run in the street right now.
It feels like we're out of the tutorial zone now, because we're getting a lot of new Pokemon after only really seeing the same faces for a little while up till now. For example, I catch three new Pokemon just back to back. The first one is a Woobat, which I catch and name String. And then I also run into a Rog and Roller, which I catch and name Hectic. Then finally, an electric horse Pokemon named Blitzel, which I dub Envy and put straight onto Team Sin. All of this is just kind of out of nowhere, but it's cool because the two teams are kind of getting filled out now. Hey, Aiden! Sharon gave us back all of the stolen lunch money and he wasn't even bruised! Great work! Thank you! I will provide a detailed description of your appearance to my friends so they know who they can thank! Not necessary. Do not do that. Hey, Bianca, apparently they were taking the money to help fund their boss's next project. Any idea what that is? Oh, I thought so! It's gotta be something to do with Big Pokemon Center, Aiden. Remember that Chumor Pokemon they were trying to capture? I remember, Bianca. I'm still not fully sold that they're up to anything bad, though. Just wait, I'm gonna fill a scrapbook with it. First, though, I gotta get this witness testimony. See you later! Yeah, catch. With that all sorted, I carry on along the route with Team Win. Plus Charity, because it's sort of half and half in both. It's a bit of a hokey pokey scenario, one foot in, one foot out. There are a lot more Pokemon battles, which I use as a chance to try figure out String and Hectic, and also learn more about Pokemon types. String is a Psychic type and a Flying type, which might mean he's good against Electric, because he's like not grounded? I don't know, let's find out, right? You know what I'm saying? Charity also learns a cool move called Fury Swipes and one-shots a wild Blitzel with it. It's basically an attack that hits a random number between two and five times when you pick it. And I, I, I like that kind of mechanic. I think that's interesting and fun. I think I'm finally starting to get street smart, Aiden. Yeah, how's that? Well, I already knew that sometimes in Darker Grass you have to fight two wild Pokemon, but I just learned that there are snakes in there as well. Yeah, good, add that to the old memory banks. Now I just need to think of a street smart way to treat Snake Venom. Maybe use the book smart way for that one. It's so sort of, all right, bye. When it comes to my new Pokemon, Hectic seems like a tank, because he has a really strong melee move that can cause a flinch, and he also has a trait that means he can't be one hit KO'd. Plus he's got defense raising moves and just naturally high. HP. From my recruitment fight with him, it also seemed like being a rock type meant normal and fire attacks were both ineffective against him, uh, and dark moves weren't anything great either, but I'm not certain about that. Either way, if I ever need to brute force a fight, Hectic's probably my man. Something else I learn is that Chupapup's bite is super effective against a Pokemon trainer's Woobat, so I guess Dark type is either the counter for Flying or for Psychic, and I, I want to be able to keep that in mind when I'm using String. I also run into a Pidove. Pidove? We, I catch it and name it Quincy to cap off Route 3, putting us in Nat Green City, home of the next gym. Whoa, what's with the new jacket? Aiden, come with me a sec. Oh, alright. What's going on, Sharon? I thought about what you said, and I just can't stop thinking about it. Seriously, who said box smarts to you? I already made the correction, just let it go, man. Bianca also called ahead, and she wants us to help her look into Team Plasma and Big Pokemon Center. Th that's why I got the jacket. Alright. I still think they're both, like objectively forces for good, you know? I mean, it's a not-for-profit charity and a public animal hospital, but she's taking it very seriously. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes she just gets on something. When we were nine, I helped her climb trees so she could figure out what the sky was made of. Did she ever figure it out? Yeah, I, I think it was... blue in the end. But sometimes cloudy. Mm. Oh, hey, and just so you know, Nat Green City Gym is the normal type gym. Those things are weak against fighting type attacks. Oh, good. Maybe Bianca won't kill all of the Pokemon in this one. <laughs> You're telling me. When I went in to get my first badge, even the janitor didn't have any Pokemon left. They just gave it to me for free. Oh, so you're like super unaccomplished as a trainer so far then. Super unaccomplished, yeah. Working on it. All right, well, I'll see you later. Oh, just one more thing. Oh, I see what you're doing. I got you a new hat to help with the investigation, like my jacket. Oh, thanks. Put it on! Sure. Uh... <clears throat> protocol?
Operation completed. Now we're both undercover. Well, I suppose all that's really left for me is to go check out Nacreen City's gym and try get my second badge. Oh, oh excuse, excuse me. me. <laughs> that's... that's funny, we got... we got the same hat on. Oh my god, yeah. oh my god, this is so awkward. Is this awkward? Yeah, I think so too. Aren't you the guy who smack talked gets us at the fundraiser? Okay, just blow my cover. Cool. Uh, none of your business, right? What? Your name is none of your business? It's sort of my business. Sort of my business? Wow, I wasn't even close. My name is N. Just, just picture the letter N. There it is. Oh, my name is Aiden. Just picture the letters A, I, D, uh... I, no, no, E, N, N, one N. The second N, it was, well, the second one was addressing you. You work for Team Plasma, right? Yeah. What are you guys uh, working on these days? Oh, do you want to join up? Yes. Well, I can maybe put in a word for you if you're any good in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> any good? I'll show you, I'll show good. Eva flushes his first Pokemon with two water guns. While exploring the city, I got given a trinket that boosts water damage, because I get charity. His next Pokemon will be a Timpole, which is not a name I recognize, so I switch to Hectic to be safe. I have no idea what type this thing is, but to be fair, it wouldn't really mean much to me yet. Anyway, my best guess is water, because Tadpole? Oh my god! That would have just one-shot me if Hectic wasn't impossible to one-shot. This thing's only one level higher, what is N feeding this thing? The attack wasn't super effective or a crit, so that wasn't even a one-off thing, or just because Hectic's a rock type, that was just an anti-tank missile he just has access to always. I'm not really sure what to do here, so I'm just gonna use a potion and see what happens. Okay, no, Hectic's gone, I'm dead. He was a good tank while he lasted. Also, it was super effective, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Is water super effective against rock? Because it, like, makes it... Sand, or is Bubble Beam not water? Regardless, I switch to Eva because it's kind of down to her or Charity, and I don't like fire against this thing, but it confuses Eva and makes her hit herself, so I switch to Chop Up Up to get rid of that. Thankfully, the bubbles seem to be less effective against him as well, and with my faithful bite, he's able to make it an actual battle. Especially after I pop an X special defend I just bought on him in hopes it helps out. And I live on 1 HP! Chop up up, you feral monster, you live to cannibalize another day. His third Pokemon's coming in, and it's called Timber, which sounds like something charity would be good against, I pray, because it's fire. But Incinerate's not as good against this thing as I was hoping. Like, come on, dude, he's holding a tree. He uses Fury Swipes and hits five times, which is the maximum, and one of them is a crit. Charity has saved both of the, like, really, really close fights so far. I mean, this, this thing's got to be on, like, one HP now. Okay, it just, it just crit me, and Charity insta-died. I finished it off with String, and apparently that was uh, super effective, so like, that was always an option, I guess, against this thing. Hectic! Charity! Dude, you just killed two of my Pokémon! What? No, I didn't. I mean, I hurt them badly, but you, you can just take them to the Pokémon Center, can't you? <gasps> Bianca was right about you, Team Plasma guys. You really are tied up with the Pokémon Centers. Eva? Eva, Eva, Baba Eve! <laughs> you said it. I guess their medicine does sort of suck a little bit. I'll see if there's an opening for you in Team Plasma. I like you, Aiden, and I like your Oshawott. Very thoughtful Pokemon. Maybe one day we can all be friends. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you Pokemon killing s scoundrel. Oh my god, Charity. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. May I now introduce you to my third team. Team Graveyard. Here lies Hectic and Charity the apparently worst tank in the world, and the savior of Striatin City. Team Sin is going to sorely miss that little fire-type pan, frying pan with meat. But you know what? This is what I needed. I mean, if Team Plasma is just going around killing the other charities, then I guess Bianca's side is really that of the good guys. I definitely really need to learn type advantages and remember them. So, in the memory of Hectic and Charity, 
I decided to start up a board. That's right, we go in serious mode. I heal up the survivors, and you know what? Change of plan. I'm not even gonna peek in that gym until I've leveled up some more. Eva is gonna live for Eva, that's the whole point. I mean, what if I walk in and a trainer just walks up to me and battles me? And they got like super dudes in their Pokeballs. Not risking it. I'm gonna go for a walk through Pinwheel Forest next to Nacreen City and do some resistance training. Oh God, a Pokemon trainer. Okay, okay, maybe she won't wanna fight me. No, no, she's gonna wanna fight me. They all wanna fight me. Maybe I shouldn't walk this way. Maybe I should just head back home. Actually, I really don't want any more of my Pokemon to die. I like them. I can just give this up. No, I can't. I haven't got the money yet. Oh man, oh man. Hey, Aiden! Is everything alright? Your blood pressure and heart rate both just spiked like crazy! Bianca? What's going on? Do you need any help? No, I'm just... Two of my Pokemon just died in a trainer fight. Do you want me to try take a look at them? Maybe they're still okay. No, one of them got turned into sand and the other had his head knocked off with a tree. I'll be alright, Bianca. I have to do this. For Professor Juniper's studies. Yep, for that. And that's my motivation as well. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, she didn't want to fight after all. Cool. Hi, Trina. Take this TM. You look like someone who could use some charity. Don't say that name! Despite my reservations, I do end up having to fight a trainer, and this one's a Pokemon Center nurse with one of those Tumor Pokemon we saw earlier that Team Plasma was after for the Pokemon Center. I gotta be honest, this whole thing is just kind of linking together and making sense now, isn't it? Luckily for me, Eva is a god, and gods don't bleed. Yeah, high five, Eva! Ow! That, that was too hard. Not cool. Oh my. I think your Oshawott is evolving. Evolving? Pokemon evolve? Oh no, does that mean there isn't a Pokemon heaven? I actually don't answer that. I can't hear the answer to that question right now. No, it's alright. Heaven and evolution are actually mutually exclusive concepts. <laughs> You're only saying that because you want to go to heaven after all the immoral Pokemon experiments you probably do. What? Wow, Eva! You're so cool! Eva! Eva! Yeah, I, I, I don't... I'm sorry. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. The end battle and the nurse battle both kind of scared me a bit, but the wild Pokemon have much more manageable levels. I want Team Win all stacked up high, so I'm gonna be here for a while leveling up. Along the way, I also run into a Timpole, and I decide to give String a go against it, and he does well for himself, so I manage to catch it. Half of me wants to torture it for the sins of its species, uh, but then I remembered I'm a human, so that isn't really a precedent I want to be setting, and I decide to treat it with kindness. May I introduce you to Treaty? Also, I was right with my water type guess, which means rock is apparently weak to water that's going on the board. The other guy I run into is a sock, which is a fighting type, I'm guessing, and pretty high level. Not that it matters to the new Eva. I catch the sock with my foot and I don't care what Sharon says with all his Pokemon knowledge, this purple guy has got to be at least partially human type. Hey guys, editing Chimney here. I just wanted to say that he's actually more of a blue guy than a purple guy. Sorry about that, I don't know what I was thinking. I name him Von Scott and he is very powerful. The feeling I'm getting from picking up higher level Pokemon in each area is that it'll be better to swap out old Pokemon than to level them all up. I mean, I can level up a couple, like I'll keep Eva and Chupapup modernized, but I'm not sure how worth it leveling up Quincy would be. The only problem with that is it means it'll be very hard to use the ones I've abandoned ever again, which means if the ones I'm keeping current die, it'll be really hard to train up another team. I'm not sure what the solution to that is, just something to think about. Anyway, Chupapup gets down to 1 HP out of nowhere again, and I also regain my Pokemon trainer confidence by taking out some more preschoolers, and... <laughs> At least I learned that fighting types are good against rock. <laughs> Two final things to mention. Eating the meat of his own kind for so long has made Chupapup very familiar with his own DNA. Enough to actually improve on it, which is... I mean, just a bizarre feat of digestive evolution. The other thing is that fighting type is apparently weak to both psychic and flying, so string is the super counter. By the end of the big leveling up, 
This is what Team Win looks like. And I'm ready to go to that gym. I see you changed your hat. Yep. It was in private. Away from reflective surfaces. Ready for round two, kid? You know I am. Old bastard. <laughs>